Hi, this is Melanie of Pardons and Reviews, and I'm here to review Salar, starring Pritvaraj and Prabhas. If you're new to Pardons and Reviews, I do film reviews and trailer reactions to Indian cinema. Oh my god <laughs> all right longtime viewers of my channel will know bahubali is the entire reason i have this channel uh because somebody from bali fools interviewed me at the second uh the first day first show imax of bahubali 2 and i was able to give a spoiler free review so i owe my entire channel to Prabhas. <laughs> but holy crap this movie Oh my God. <laughs> All right. This is my second movie of today. My personal Christmas, uh, Christmas day. Um, I'm huge fans of Shah Khan and Prabhas and both of them had movies and I saw both of them today. Donkey was a little disappointing. You can watch my review of that. Um, I went to see Salar at a 5 p.m. show. The, the, my theater was packed even though that's a little bit before people would normally be out of work. The theater was packed, which was really exciting. You know, a lot of shouting and yelling because of the way that Prabhas was slowly introduced to us, you know, seeing his back. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, this movie. Prasant Neal is so, I mean, just blasted on. I mean, I've seen his film Ugram, but it was KGF, one and two that took the world by storm, made everyone stand up and notice how amazing Canada cinema could be. And when I saw the trailer for Salar, I was like, wow, this looks kind of like KGF, right? Because KGF was set in these mines and there was all this dust and the teasers and everything like that showed Prabhas kind of in the same environment. I'm like, is this going to be the same? <laughs> First of all, KGF was set in, was kind of a period movie. I don't even know what time period that <laughs> this is supposed to be. I guess it's like 2017 or something. We keep getting flashbacks and whatever. Okay, first of all, the child actors are awesome. I was more moved in the first five minutes of this film than I was the entire time I saw Dunky. I'll just tell you that. These kids were awesome. Um, setting up this amazing bond between Prabhas's character and Prithviraj's character. And, uh, you know, Deva is, um, is the name of Prabhas's character. And he is fearless, even as a child, right? So we get this set up and he has this fierce bond with Prit Faraj's character and will do anything to stand up for him. We see how that is reciprocated, which sets all the, and all the th events in motion. Then we switch and we have, okay, so we have this whole subplot about Shruti Hassan coming to... Uh, India, I'm, this is mostly sport of the free, but I just have to say, Shruti San plays like sort of this character that's coming from America and is clueless of what kind of maelstrom she is putting herself in. And so Prabhas is her protector and half of the, the second half of the movie is another character explaining in flashback as they drive somewhere, how events from the past that led up to the events of present day. And Shruti Hassan is all of us, okay? Because she would stop the narrative periodically and say, wait, what? <laughs> and then she would say, wait, I need a drink. <laughs> so Shruti was everybody because there was so much, so much plot, so much world building. Like I kept saying when I saw the trailer, I'm like, what? what's with the collars? What's with the nose rings? What's with all of this? Like... <laughs> It's all this imaginary world, sort of present day, but like an alternate reality where there's, <laughs> and there's zombies. Okay, I know that's one spoiler I'm going to give you. Was not expecting zombies on my bingo card. <laughs> 
All right, I will just say, is there anything more satisfying than watching a bloody tank topped, almost shirtless proboscis slice somebody's head off? No, there is not. There's nothing more satisfying in the world. And like he has serious conversations with Prit Fred's character as they catch up, as they're, you know, being mowing down certain <laughs> I was just sitting there with my mouth open through half of this film. Like the imagination, the scope, the like I said, the world building. Like I don't want to spoil, but I I couldn't quite figure it out from the trailer. And there's a reason because it doesn't exist in this world and it's glorious and it's insane and it's oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. All right. Spoil tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. There's this amazing set piece thing that happens in the second half where Prabhas completely loses his shit because a bad guy is going to do something to a little girl. And the, the, the color palette of this entire movie is so much in the grays and kind of sepia toned. And all these girls and women are wearing red, red. And it is so striking visually. It is so stunning. And then the women start like banging their feet against the ground and just like calling to Prabhas to totally wait like these people. It is, a, it is incredible. Like the imagination of this director to create this scene the visual scope of this movie and this incredible color palette and also the sort of futuristic and yet it harkens back to kingdoms and thrones and oh, wow like I'm just overwhelmed with this movie and it's only part one <laughs> I don't even know when part two is coming out. Let me know in the comments because I can't wait. It, it Okay, Print Farage is also, those of you who watch my reviews of Molly Allen films know that I'm a huge fan of Print Farage. At least by my hearing, he was doing all the Telugu lines himself. I don't know if he had a heavy accent, you can tell me. But I thought he did quite well. And there's this tension and bond between his character and Prabhas. And Prithviraj just has, he's supposed to be this kind of Lord character, but like the stepson or something like there's, you know, there's this whole tension and his role within this setup that Prasad Neil has given us. And, and Prithviraj is just so great at seeming regal and his, you know, deep, deep rumbling voice. And oh my God, like, it's just awesome. So Prabhas doesn't have exactly a ton of dialogue. It's a lot of strutting along around, looking cool, walking in slow-mo, which nobody can do any better than Prabhas at that, doing, you know, just wailing people with his fists, then, you know, grabbing some axes and going at it, like, you know, as he, as he does. <laughs> and it was glorious. It was like, you know, ever since the Bahubali films, I've wanted him to have another great film. I've enjoyed him and his past films of comedy, romantic comedy. I've seen him try different things, but he's not really hit on anything. And Anaparush should have been good for him, but yet the CGI was so weird on that film, right? It just looked weird. And so I couldn't get past that. This is the film. This is the one I have been waiting for since probably I was in heaven. Like, and I'm sure Many other Prabhas fans feel exactly the same way. Listen, I still want to see him do another fun rom-com or some of the humor like in Murchie or whatever mixed with the badass. There was no humor here. This was just Prabhas being his glorious action self. And I was eating it up with a spoon. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and what, what this director has set up, there's... <laughs> I'm like I said, I'm not going to even spoil it, but I was like, 
of course, when we got the end and we got another thing revealing and Trudy was like, like us, wait, what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Wait, what? <laughs> oh my God. Okay. So I'm just going to tell you, uh, you have to see this in a big theater. You have to see it with a crowd. This is the movie that has won Christmas. It is, it is, wow. It is a lot. It is a lot. And I really, really enjoyed seeing it with a crowd. Do not wait for streaming on this one. This one. Oh my gosh. Prasant Neil, you were amazing. Okay. Like I was doubting because the trailer looked, yes, there are scenes set in a coal mine. So they have that kind of dust appearance, but it's much, much more than that the world oh my god okay <laughs> so i'm literally talking to you moments after i got out being so excited if you had a chance to see, i tried to be almost as spoiler free as i could but zombies really zombies <laughs> so let me know if you felt the same way when you watched this if you're a fan of Prabhas, if you're a fan of Prit Faraj, did you enjoy this film? Let me know in the comments below. I was blown away. Loved it. <laughs> Please go see it. All right. You know where to find me, the usual places. Um, I'm at Pretty's Reviews, at Instagram, Threads, and Blue Sky. And I'm still on X at uh, Pretty's YT. If you hit the bell here when you subscribe, you'll never miss another trailer reaction or film review.